Greetings. Welcome to another video here. This is one I was sent by a uh, little uh, hero here in the game. Uh, it's a 3v3 on God knows what the map is. I don't know. Uh, it's got some swamps and stuff and really nice levels of fish to it. I don't need the fog of war or so I can actually see who's on whose team. So we've got Hero here as one of the wings. He's going to be playing the Teal Gungans. We've got Fluffy Rabbit as the pocket. Oof. As the green Wookiees. And then we've got Risk here as the other wing on the Galactic Empire. And he'd be facing off here against Flag Cap Arnie here in the Orange Rebel Alliance. His pocket being First Order Frost here in the grey. And last but not least, we've got Kissam here playing the Yellow Gungans. So, are these the same selves? No. They have ended up with double Gungans in the game. There's some not bad opportunities for Gungans here. They get um, good shore fish bonuses. There's berries as well. They get a bonus to berry gathering. So that's a pretty cool Gungan map. And later on, you could maybe shell out some like cruisers and stuff. There's definitely all these little pawns gives you a, a little bit of opportunity to make use of that really good strength that they've got those super cheap cruisers, which with their crazy range could really knock down things. And it seems like there's a limited amount of space in like the center and stuff so good chance that um forward bases and stuff would be in range of these ponds and there's a lot of nerfs here not been what well, they're called bore box now but they'd be going in the nursery for sure if uh risk hadn't muck things up here and went for his food processor too early which is exactly what's happened here what's going on here is he like Almost stolen all the Barneys here, or were they just like spawned? He's, he's found his uh, really late as well, so things are uh, actually kind of even over here. Did have these uh, close scanners, it looks like you ate one at the start as well, so you didn't muck up the, the worker count. Let's see what's going on here. So, Risk is going to be one worker behind. These are the three heroes on 10. And yeah, I may have to speed it up a little bit because I think T1's just going to be a little bit boring and I'm going to run out of things to talk about. A lot of um, forward facing ores on this side. This will be a problem for these players later on in the game, maybe. If they uh, get put in the back foot and get pinned by a forward or something like that, you, do, you wouldn't want to lose all your ore. That's crazy. Like, this would be a really good. If you were like Kissam in this situation, you could put like a fortress down here. That would be huge, just cut this player off. You could probably even do that in T3. Especially if you're one of the weaker players in the game. That would be huge, because it's like, this is so difficult to engage. And uh, look at the trees line as well, so I've been between. You'd have to run a pummel around and very awkward, and not having the ore sucks. It sucks for uh, getting your extra command centers and stuff. Not really uh, much air abuse. In this game, there's Fluffy and Arnie here on the air sibs. Uh, they might not necessarily go for that kind of gameplay. Arnie tends to just sort of muck about when he's on the wing and just sort of uh, play fun builds and stuff. A very good player, can get away with doing that. I can absolutely appreciate that, I tend to do the same thing really. Don't always need to go uh, straight T4 air and uh, abuse everyone, feels bad. Uh, same risk doing that very sort of defensive placement of his nurseries here. Don't normally see uh, things like that either. Not a lot of thought in his buildings. His carbon's not terrible for once. He usually places the worst carbons I ever see. Yeah, it looks like he's a little bit ahead of Arnie here. Arnie did have the worker lead, but. Oh, there we go. As is tradition, he's just going to show me something terrible with his carbon. And there we have two workers just completely and utterly trapped. Classic. Oof. That's some sort of... Oh, that's even worse. That's what's going on. It's like a competition. Competition for, like... They're, like, locked in as well. Oh, my God. Kiss him. What happened? <laughs> is this a path? Oh, get them out of there. Come on. I'm stun locked on this. This is this is atrocious. Oh, I can't I can't watch anymore. I can't watch anymore. Enough of that. Enough of that. 
Oh, very early. 2% hero going to be on, hitting him with the mounties. Um, I think after having such a catastrophe with the carbon, which is still ongoing, this carbon crisis, um, mounties are going to feel bad. It does a quick little wall, though. And this is nice with a little Gungan bonus getting on the shorefish. There's a few here. Like, Kissam could really have been doing the same here, I think. Here we're going for the prefab rather than the light wall that will like destroy itself in seconds if it's attacked by the mountain. Oh, looks like Risk's doing the same thing. <clears throat> Got the scout out here with the mountain, putting the pressure on. And looks like we are just going for a T3 here for RNA. He's going to drop the double turrets and get the spaceport down. That'll help get the uh, resource allocation. Spaceport is definitely the first building you want to go for. Might even end up buying some ore here. Don't know if they've uh, gathered any extra ore for this stuff. Well, they have. Got 38, so they did gather a little bit of ore. Not sure from where. I'm confused. Why have they got, like, extra ore? Thought it was cheaper or something. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm sure none of these have been eaten. Either way, he's got 30 where you can get a mech factory. Someone will correct me about this. Not too much damage from this, really. A couple of mounties, there's just some troopers coming out, so he's going with a normal rush on the back of this. And uh, you can see that Hero on the other side has found the uh, the carbon. And um, Kazem's kind of just like having a bad time here. It does have troop center power core up, but he needs to run these workers out here. Can't just keep losing them. There's a few that have gone down, like three workers. And Risk as well, looking to get this pressure on as he sneaks around the side here with his troopers. But he'll need to think about getting himself to T3 as well because Arnie is getting close to being able to push that button now. Uh, go for war center, which is an odd choice. Because they could definitely get a, a mech factory. He wants to get range on the turrets or something. You can close this out with prefabs for sure. He's going to manage to do that. A little bit of a panic on this one. Could have maybe um, been a little bit more ambitious and got it here. Because the troopers can now sort of walk into this. Maybe when he gets the food, he will go for the, the range on the turret. But it's quite a nice comfy carb in here. Oh, and it looks like the uh, Heroes Mounties have gone to the pocket as well, and Risk as well, actually. They both ran here, so Frost having a bad time with these double Mounties running into his base. And going for a bit of a greedy play here with the shipyard into the pond. So, a little bit behind. And never actually finished this troop centre that he was getting to defend this, and he's having to keep spending all the carbon to, to repair the power core. A lot to focus on in the base as well, and a lot of points to defend. And he should be T3 very soon now though. And Risk actually sneaking round with three workers and building the turret here in that little spot. It's going to be hard to defend this though. Although Arnie's decided to go for the mech factory ultimately. The, the war centre has been completely useless. A little bit of an error I think for the war centre really. Because this carbon now could have been an air base, and I think an air base is the best thing that you would want here. And risk buying himself a lot of time with this. Although he's really not done too well with his economy at home, not a lot of farms. Could have maybe fished as well while he was doing this, with like a power droid. I think that would have been huge. And he's just keeping up the aggression, he's going to drop a gate as well to try and slow any counter strike. Uh, well, counter. Well, yeah, counter strike's technically a term. Counter strike of strike max. See, Arnie wants to fish as well. And the strike mechs are out now and they'll clean up the troopers. And he has sneaked a worker around here. It wouldn't take too long to kill it off, but risking actually on Garrison and kill off the worker. Kind of needs like a bomber for this, really. Or just a bunch of workers, delete the prefabs and bring some strike mechs to kill off the troopers if they try to contest it. And I'm not really seeing too much, and Fluffy Rabbit is uh, doing Fluffy Rabbit things, building his walls. He's chilling. Probably has a very good eco though. We've got this fishing on the go. Just need to see some uh, aggression out of him here. Again, being pocket would be better if he just techs himself up to T3 and gets the 
the better units rather than the troopers. Because the troopers are not going to do too well against these strike mechs. And Risk, a little bit hard pressed to defend himself, but it looks like he landed some nice grenadier shots on these strike mechs. They're looking a little bit low here. Another one too as well, and the troopers can actually finish this off in just two hits. Bam. Down it goes. And there's the uh, classic fluffy as your pocket, rushing through your base there. In your time of need. Maybe be a little bit better if he went down to Frost or something like that, but it's a little bit hectic with all the mounties and stuff has slowed a lot of people down. That's Frost just hitting T3 now. A couple more strike mechs from Arnie heading over into Risk Space. Uh, Tarot's still doing its thing here, but Arnie's pretty much moved most of the economy up to this side, hovering and going to try and get back into it and sort of boom with the shipyards. You just sort of consider them like extra command centres. Each building a, a worker at a time. Uh, I'm gonna take a trade here with these troopers of fluffy rabbits. Taking a little bit of damage though. It's kind of delaying him getting into a good position, and more troopers arriving from fluffy here. Um, it's really taken away a lot of the uh, opportunity for Arnie to get some damage here with the strike mix. He does manage to clean everything up though. Uh, Risk can absolutely press the button, but isn't. A bit of a moment here. 800 carbon. That's why, I mean, it'd be better if he did do some fishing. Desperately try to get some turrets up, but it's all gone wrong here for Risk. There's a lot, lot of strike mechs here. And if you just click on each of the workers at a time, you can pretty much just delay them a bit. You didn't manage to entirely delay them getting the turret up, though. And Mech Destroyer actually arriving here from the Mighty Rabbit in this moment of need. Uh, some strike mechs from Frost and some troopers arriving here as well. Doesn't look like they can really get into uh, Fluffy Rabbit's base the way they want. They seem to want to go into about here, but there is actually a gap at the front. And it's just all absolute chaos here in Risk Space. He's had to garrison a lot of things. There's a Padawan from Rabbit showing up to defend, some more troopers. It's all going a little bit wrong there. Um, we can see the hero now, keep the pressure on Kissam. Kissam having a bad time since that early Mountain Aggression and the Carbon incident. So we'll refer to that. Alright, does hit T3 and try to get his war center here. Get his own mech destroyer out. Keep himself safe here. We see air base now for Arnie. Maybe he wants that bomber and maybe he wants to transition into air harassment now as well. As he knows it risks T3. Um, there's these gates that Risk's managed to get up during all this. It's almost like fighting an AI player here. He's got three workers just off building walls while you're in their base. But they'll stop any sort of uh, reinforcements coming. It's all looking a bit grim here for us because he's had to spend a lot of his carbon now on getting out these mech destroyers rather than getting up the command center that he desperately needs to get the workers out. Uh, with Arnie building all these um, trawlers, it's going to be way ahead of Risk here in terms of workers. The hero has actually arrived over here and Risk's still got his, his workers out here. I never noticed that he's just been munching all this ore, so he's stealing Arnie's ore this entire time. And Arnie not really noticed. Hero now going to do some harassment for Risk since Risk can't really afford it right now. He's chasing these strike mechs within his own base. Things are very quiet on the other side. Like I say, I've got a bunch of fighters but not really been into use. There's a lot of anti air here in uh, Hero's base. It's quieting down a little bit. There's a few fighters out now. And Risk building the shipyard is looking to maybe try and kill off these trawlers. I don't really feel like he can afford this. I think he'd be better pressed just building a command center. Because they're going to have to spend this, he's going to have to get like a power droid and then start sticking resources into destroyers, which don't really help him too much. And he's kind of just being too aggressive here and these workers just evading these strike mechs. Making it back home. Workers that Risk sorely needs. 
Have a wall here in the middle, hero. Doing some sort of walling everywhere. Trying to limit the amount of strike aggression from the other team. But the worry about Arnie is you're gonna get a lot of food doing this. I have the one Nova pile at the moment though. So maybe not quite ready to pull the trigger on going like T4. But certainly built up a few fighters and this is a new challenge for Risk but fortunately he does have that extra ore that he can absolutely splurge away on turrets wherever he wants because it's not even his ore that he's spending. And there's the bombers out now so it looks like the ore party will be over very shortly. As they clean that up. The risk still on one base. Hey, it's all feeling a bit quiet now. Frost and Fluffy definitely up there with their scores. Probably got some very good economies with all their boats and stuff. All the time they've been T3, they've got some extra command centers everywhere. A little army from the rabbit here, marching across to risk space. This time with some Jedi Knights. Fluffy doing his best to uh, look like an AI player right here. This is very diverse army. Helping out against these fighters. And Fluffy and I will try to build uh, an extra turret for Risk here. I don't think he really needs that. I think he can afford another turret if he wants it. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I've already not noticed, like, just gonna let him munch the ore. No! Oh, it's the destroyers that are actually happening for him. The A are out of position. Risk is gonna kill off these, but I do think he kinda he should be getting a command center. He's too poor. He might crank his heart out with these destroyers. It's focusing down the trawlers rather than go for the destroyer. Oh, it's his destroyer, rather. Doesn't lose them. Maybe he can repair them. He can hide them up on the coast and repair them. Arnie inside the base for one worker here, building some scouting prefabs. Maybe get a sentry post. Right, does plan to get the sentry post. Um, I've got two destroyers for Arnie here, and then the frigate. Um, not the best uh, micro there, considering one of these is just one tap away. Risk managing to trade uh, one for one there, or two for two really. Damage is certainly done though, killed a lot of those trawlers and they were all on aqua harvesters. So that's a lot of carbon here that Arne actually invested. And it is going off to T4 now though. Risk getting that other command center, but he's going to feel so behind when Arnie hits T4. Like, in terms of his own infrastructure and everything, his worker counts and stuff, T4 air into that is going to feel horrible. And Rabbit actually showing up here with that little diverse army and killing a lot of the Nova workers, which is absolutely paramount for their survival right now, considering Arnie's halfway to T4. Some units arriving here from uh, Frost, the Rain Initiate, and some Strike Max. Not MD trying to clean this up, but a lot of those Nova workers going down, which is huge. Keeping the Nova count down. Oh, he's really just got enough to get like um, shields at the moment. Um, don't know where all the air is. It's not a huge amount of air, so it's not going to be the most lethal T4. And Hero actually hitting T4 now. So they're going to be completely fine from any T4 aggression, really, if they get their upgrades. Got a good sprawl of command centers and turrets and stuff. And uh, got. Big weapons factory there for some anti-air mobiles. Right, looks like they're maybe going to build a forward here, protect their oars, and start trying to encroach into Kissam's base. It looks like the uh, tiny naval wars are actually still ongoing here. His risk shows up with two more destroyers. Channeling his inner lucky Ashman here. Absolutely tunneled on killing all these. Killing off the harvesters as well. That's going to feel really bad for Arnie, having invested all that carbon. He's trying to repair this mech destroyer. It's not going to win this 2v1, though. 
but he is T4 now. I'm going to be getting the efficient manufacturing upgrade. Not getting the shields though. Going for that uh, long term profit here, getting the uh, cost of the air down. Certainly needs to cut costs after what's happened to all these harvesters. Uh, you can see that forward's gone up here now. Uh, another one from Frost here, building up in the centre of the map. This is <laughs> these guys are still mining the ore. I don't know why. It's pretty amusing though. Looks like the uh, scouting prefabs have been found here. It's going to take a while for destroyers to clean those up though. Right, surely you see this now, you've just built this um, ore processor. Yes. <laughs> it's been going on for so long. <laughs> but just as he gets onto the new ore, there's the strike max. Heavy strike max from here to here. Not a lot of them, but pretty annoying. Uh, keeping the air back here at the base. On shields and trying to build A wings interceptors. They're not quite the A wings you knew though. Some first order tie fighters here. And looks like Kassam's got quite a lot of MDs out here. Not the best level of upgrades. Kind of skimping on those a little bit. But it does have the shield and the fortress. Unfortunately, shield kind of in the front here. Fort in the back. They'd maybe want that the other way around. But doing his best to protect his ore here and even his Nova. A lot of his good resources are at this point. Can't lose this area. Not sure what's even fighting here. See some strike mechs and some interceptors coming in here. They do have the 6 range, but I don't think they've really got all the like bonuses and stuff that A-Wings did. I think that's pretty much everything. A-Wings were just nuts. And they're not as fast either. Yeah, they're nowhere near as lethal as A-Wings are in the vanilla game. Definitely better off with the fighters to harass here. Uh, everyone's quite ready for the air. The air is kind of just a lost cause at this point. For getting any damage done. Uh, see here, we're trying to kill off some of the trees here. Needs to just select one at a time and just click all around. Uh, risk surviving. He's getting there. He's horrible eco, but... He's not dead. That's the main thing. He's got quite a few command centers out now. And not really too sure what the next play would really be for um, Arnie here. Is having a little bit of an economical hiccup. They're going into troopers. They're losing all that carbon that they invested in the, uh, the trawlers and stuff really, really hurt them. And then having the workers knocked off that Nova. They've just got this Nova now. You can see extra spaceports dropping. He knows that the, the Nova's a bit of an issue. Looks like they're pinging to get like a spaceport over here as well. They want to do some trading. And they got a pretty safe route here. Mostly all their territory in that direction. And it looks like Frost flooding out a ton of troopers here. The first order troopers, they get that bonus to their attack speed. Which makes them quite strong. And this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna suck for risk because he just he does have the gate that'll actually protect his army for a little bit. But these are basically Mounties flanking him right now. Just gonna feel terrible. But at least he's got this little bit, he just maybe locks the gate. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna march the AA mobiles into them, which die in seconds. And some cannons here as well. And these flame troopers are absolutely smashing him here. He's even questioning what are they? They're just Mounties with uh, increased attack speed, really. He's a rabbit to come and bail him out of this. Just as he was getting a nice little army that was going to do some bullying here to um, Arnie. You see Arnie was felt 
pressure to get all these Mounties built up. He's hiding them in the troop centers, waiting for the army. Rabbit's going to need to get in there and cause some damage. On the other side of things now, it looks like he has somewhat gotten through here a little bit. But he is struggling to get into a proper position. Rabbit arriving here with the rest of the forces. Classic pummels, they're moving pretty quick, these pummels. But there will be some mounties as well from Arnie here. And these flame troopers running in. So they do die pretty quickly, strike max, it's just mounties really. I don't know if they've maybe got like a better attack range or something. They're definitely probably better than mounties maybe. Uh, you just need like troopers or strike mechs to kill them off. And risk now. Not the best eco. Can't really replace his forces after losing them like that. Can be getting killed off, yeah. Killed workers pretty quickly, these guys. God damn. And the other side of things, starting to move now. I guess I've got a few mounties out trying to kill off these artillery. Let's kill off two. Again, with that forward facing shield generator now. Kind of just uh, open season here for the forces to just focus it down. Luffy does show up with a decent army here. Not a lot of upgrades for the troopers though. There are repeaters, but they're missing all those attack upgrades that they sorely need, and all the armor, which makes the wikis really special. And obviously the extra health as well. But not really much stopping um, Hero here on this side, he just needs to surge forward as quickly as possible before Frost can really get a lot together. I see him rallying forces now. Rabbit still rallying units into Risk Space. Risking a bunch of strike mechs together. This mount is going to collide with them, but uh, they're going to get gunned down really. Even without the upgrades, they're going to take a lot of damage on these troopers, but he's just running past the forces and looking to maybe kill something important. I think if you had all the attack upgrades, they just died there. Trying to run them into the economy or something. Can you get some like good power core protection from Rabbit here? Does he have these layered as buildings around them? He's actually going to run into Hero's base. Hero's the biggest concern right now. This big army here in Kasama's base. Because they don't want to lose their trade that they've got set up here in the corner. Unfortunately, a hero does have heavy strike mech upgrades, so if he just makes a few strikes at home, you can clear this up quite quickly. Uh, Risk's still not truly dead. I see a few Kiruzers getting an opportunity here just to take this fortress down. 14 range. Not really anything to contest them. A couple of dark troopers Risk felt he needed to get after those uh, mounties and flame trooper attacks. And we see the flame troopers here. Trying to pressure, but not really doing too well now in the shield generator and some. Some of these troopers are a little bit derpy though. Some kind of bad targeting on these. But it does hold strong. The fort's still alive for Kassam though. And nobody really wanting to fight in the middle here. Maybe Fluffy. It might be better getting set up, sort of set up here, take down this ore. Pressure into the middle. So it looks like Hero is holding strong. And 
Oh, you're starting to trade online now. <laughs> I don't know what the trade is chosen. That's pretty close. Some uh, ghetto trade. Maybe he wants to send it this way, maybe. I'm going to come off the wall here. The interceptors help against air, but not really great against anything else. And uh, Risk can't really deal with all this. It's just too economically weak. Off it is here with some MDs and some troopers, but it's kind of really just the troopers he needs. You're know, still pushing through this position, but very slow to get like a lot of cannons out. That's kind of just what he needs. Just needs to remove the fortress and shell all of the base. And the Mountains have actually found the spaceports down here and they built in the corner. Not really much trade going on though. Very slow to get through. It's like a bit of a traffic block here as well. Like, just needs to move the forces out. It's like the fortress is way too scary for him. It's the fortress is not scary. You got shields now. Just walk into it. Bring everything forward. Walk into it. And start encroaching on this area and just cut this player off from the rest of the team. Ah, uh, we got some speeders out here as well. So the forces from Arnie here are going to start to really get overwhelming for Risk and Fluffy Rabbit, because Fluffy Rabbit has to walk all the way down here. He keeps making the wrong units, making these mech destroyers, not really doing too much. Just needs lots of troopers, really. Troopers with upgrades that just smash all of this. Even anti-air troopers as well, because the interceptors suck. An actual opportunity for them, though. Kill some fighters. Strike Max killing off a lot of workers here. And Hero is starting to march in here. And uh, Frost not doing really a great job here supporting this position. He hasn't got much out. Like he had some forces here earlier, and then it just looks like it's uh, sort of falling apart for him. Not got much of a standing army. Or he just doesn't know what units he should be building. Only, however, just getting a lot, a lot of damage done with just pure mounties, really. Uh, so there's not really much to defend on the ground, and um, risk even losing command centers to these cruisers as well. Just like to see Hero making more buildings here, just grabbing up more of this territory. Get more cannons in, more shield generators, and uh, just make sure because it's like you can earn all this ore, Nova. These guys just don't have enough on the ground to contest this army right now. But Hero needs to make sure he does reinforce it so that it doesn't get caught out with like a tech switch into Mounties or anything like that. And Fluffy's going to have to do a really good job just holding things on this side while Hero carves through. And let's not have any premature resigns or anything like that. Like Fluffy's base is quite well set up to defend this army. Do worry about marching over here. He hasn't gotten all of his upgrades as of yet. Still missing a lot of the armor, the health, and the extra damage. And risk. <laughs> There's not really any helping risk at this point. He's risk's dead. I think their best bet is really just to hold this position. And I don't like him maybe overextending a little bit here, taking the fight up here. We'll get those pummels into position though. Kill off this power core. These units are going to kill off their counter in the AA mobiles though quite quickly. Hopefully that stalls enough for them here, as Hero's still surging forward. Um, Arne should really be setting his sights on maybe this gate and getting into the economy here of Rabbit. Risk asking for carbon, but uh, I mean, I don't know about that. He's got one marker over here in the corner. Some assault mechs here from the first order, but the shield generator and the fan bat are gonna 
getting them down with the mech destroyers quite easily. Kind of just funneling to their death, and they're not really fighting over too much important here either. At this point, they've kind of just lost this position. It'd be much better to get a strong forward somewhere. Kind of what you need to do when you when you get pushed out of a certain area, you need to set up something pre proactively before they reach that point, so that you've got a strong force with a shield to basically stop them in their tracks, right? It's pretty difficult to just run some units at them and then build the shield just behind it. You can end up taking a terrible trade, as we just saw. And uh, did get through this position yet, we went through the gate. Gonna use the fighters to defend. I don't think there's a huge amount of interceptors anymore now though. The fighters gonna do very well against the troopers and the repeaters as well. So rabbit holding that position now. And they don't really have an answer to hero. This Grand Gungan army is keeping going through here. Killed off their rival Gungan clan. And setting their sights on the First Order in Frost here. There is a lot of speeders out though, and I'm seeing a very distinct lack of anti-air here. A few A-mobiles. They are sitting in the back though. Definitely needs to get them forward. And I'd like to see some turrets and some shields. and Just a lot more static defense for the army, because each piece is just going to significantly increase the value of it. Like it's so much nicer to have some shields here that you can fall back to rather than all the way back here, right? It makes it so difficult for your opponents to remove you, push you back. Again, Rabbit trying to rescue Risk here. Does have this command center, a couple of workers in it. He's got a secret command center up here. He's not. He's not dead. Oh, he's got one here as well. He's, he's not dead, dead. But he's quite dead. Um, I don't think there's really too much to worry about with this. I think he just keeps going rather than walk in and kill off these buildings. I mean, Kissam looks pretty cooked at this point. I worry about him weakening his uh, forward position here. There's a fortress now, which is nice, gonna help out here. I see Fluffy moving into the center of the map, that's huge. As long as he doesn't leave himself too vulnerable here. Here we've got a lot of resources here, and he's maxed as well. Frost surging forward to take a trade, but a lot of the army's getting caught in this choke. And uh, into the shield generator now, and a lot of shots just being tagged into the Famba. Uh, he hasn't gotten all of his upgrades for the Mech Stars. Missing some HP on them. But gonna clean up that army pretty nicely, not really lost much, still popped. And again, he's just going to keep going forward, and you see tons of air speeders here from Arnie. <laughs> Might need two control groups to kill off this army. Have to just go pure air. You could go Jedi as well, but it doesn't seem to have much interest in doing that in this game. I don't really think there's much to stop him doing that. Few strike mechs heading over here to these workers on the Nova. And here we're killing off more trees, trying to maybe widen the arc for his units to stand in. So maybe better to just build himself an AC. AC would be nice for the army, just help out, help control the fights that you take, and kill off any of these trees that just get in the way. Because these chokes are quite small with the way that the ponds are formed. Another command center. He's all over the place. A little embassies everywhere. Every country you'll find risk. And taking a trade here with the air speeders. Kind of a few of the things here, but there's a lot of ant here. As I said, you probably need like two or three control groups of speeders to take that trade. Maybe one speeder, one fighter. And then maybe even one bomber. 
That might do the trick. Not really seen any air cruisers. Air cruisers would have been great for stalling, especially this choke. But there's just not been a lot of um, proactive setup here from Frost to Steam. They just keep playing into this army and losing. I'm just now building walls for Rabbit here. Becoming the warden. Cheeky fort here, but cannons are out here hitting it. Another command center for risk. Yep, food. No. Just command centers, really. I could fish, like build trawlers and aqua harvesters, maybe. That might be his best bet. Uh, but stalling out Arnie as he can here. UMDs. But Hero still marching into the base here of Frost. Killing off the remnants of uh, Kissim. That's not looking great. It's not a good enough standing army to face this. Gungan power. And Annie are a little bit out of position here. Gonna get some good trades for the speeders. Killing off a few of these MDs at the front here. See they're going down very quickly with so many speeders. Um, definitely gonna feel that in terms of the population. Down 40 population already. Just needs to bring more of the units forward though. And Arnie gonna be knocked back a little bit. Risk asking for food. They've definitely got food that they could give them. Could help Risk power out all these workers from his 20,000 command centers he's built. Surprised he hasn't got one in uh, Arnie's base as well. Still ever mounting pressure here from Hero. Power core. We're gonna get a new shield generator down here as well. Got some bounty hunters just in case they're trying to go for some masters. Uh, here come the ACs. Definitely gonna do well here. Are a lot of AA mobiles out though. And they got that 13 range as well, so. Kind of a wide area for them. They could be split up and maybe deal with the ACs. They're just going to have to create a really strong environment for them to kite the pawns quite good because it's going to limit a lot of like, movement from units. We'll see how long they can stall out. They don't really have like a win condition at the moment though. Because it's not like they're like carving through Fluffy here. So if anything they're only really just defending not to die right now. Which is going to be a problem for them because if Risk gets back in it could be really menacing being Galactic Empire. Having such a strong unit that he could spam once he just gets like his carbon and food out. He is in T4 as well, so it's not like he's trapped in T3 still. I'm gonna be making new spaceports for trade. Means he's taking a very long time, very slow unit, but very powerful. Arnie taking another trade here at this fortress of rabbits and he's going to be bringing that down I think. Got the Mexican mech destroyers out. Oof. Strike mech's going down pretty quickly. Speeder is too strong. Doesn't really need to focus on harassing, really, just needs to keep going forward. This is where I would like to see some advanced turrets when it comes to the air cruisers. Because you can put them at awkward angles and just make it really difficult for them to take shots at you. And then if they try to do the trick where they shoot the attack ground near the turret, you can use your AA mobiles to wrestle them out of that position. As Hero's gone forward here, it looks like Frost is just going for him with all of his advanced flame troopers and his repeater troopers, but 
He's fighting two separate little 1v1s here. Um, he's doing much better on the uh, Flame Trooper side, because it seems like all the Strike Mechs and the Troopers are at the north position. And they're not here protecting the artillery, and all the artillery is actually going to die here. Just getting blown up by the Flame Troopers, and that's a huge win for them here. It's really going to help them stall because a lot of this is uh, the DPS for killing off buildings and stuff. Uh, some troopers, some jet troopers here just harassing. They do pretty well killing off their workers. Seem pretty strong. Got quite a few of the workers here. And a bit of a meat grinder here as Arnie tries to get into this position from Fluffy Rabbit. And the advanced turret's actually paying off huge. I, I swear I just heard a medic die. Amazing. Oh, he's got the medics out for his, his super troopers. Oh, he doesn't have the health! The Rabbit, you need to get the upgrade from the command center. It's like the best Wookiee thing. Gives you extra armor and HP. Please, please, Rabbit. If you're watching, remember it in the future. You're missing, like... Look how he's got 75 health. You could have 75 health. Huge upgrade. God damn, these things are lethal. But like Geos. Slightly worse than Geos, but pretty annoying. Oh, the AC is trying to go for something, but I, I'm not really sure what. I don't know if they really got some good hits, so they're running away from the AA mobiles. Kind of forgot about that. It took so long to get here. But again, still, they're not removed here from this position. It's just like a big group of units just sitting here ominously, threatening everything. It's almost like Arnie was big brain with the way that he set up his trade, like he just had no faith in there. <laughs> Kissa. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to just put the trade here, I guess. This trade is still safe. And uh, there's some nice shots there. You know, not really reacting to this at the moment. He's got a lot of AA mobiles. He should definitely get a lot more and get some turrets for sure. Arnie now. Trying best to deal with this. This is where he needs his air cruisers, really. He could get he could really kill this position off. Again, rabbit's still not got that that health. Health would just be so good. Like, like nothing like Wookiee repeaters are the best. Hands down, that that health, regen, armor, is so strong. The question is, is Risk online now? He is. He's got a bit of an army now and he's threatening. So, he could threaten to go into the trade here and a lot of the economy for Arnie. That would be a huge problem and he's marching that way now. And he could get all this Nova back actually. It's not really been consumed. It should be huge for him. He get his upgrades for his mechs, get all his extra war center things. He's actually got quite a lot of the upgrades actually. Just doesn't have a heavy mech. So that would just all be extra gravy for him now, this Nova, then he could make some like assault mechs or something. I see some forces having to be wrestled together to deal with this, and it's going to feel a little bit bad for Arnie now. I don't know if he's lost his, his ACs or what. Maybe he has. Oh, they're here. Just stalling, but he's, he's like fighting on three places now. It's going to be too overwhelming for him to get into this, this annoying units, air and stuff. You can see it's it's getting getting ahead of him here. It's too much to worry about, and these are gonna kill all the air cruisers off for basically free. And that's gonna be a lot of pressure off of Hero to just keep going in here now. Even though the army is dwindling a little bit, you can see he's down a hundred population now. It's mainly he might be just losing all his workers. So these raids from these jet troopers are just killing everything. And um, the air speeders are kind of the counter to risk at the moment. He's going to have to get a lot of air mobiles before his next push. Because he's kind of just getting killed off of those. So they are holding, but again, no one's really stopping the march of Hero here as he gets further. And he's encroaching, encroaching on this trade, which is super important to this team. The jet troopers are, seem to be tilting them through the chat here. They're getting really annoyed about these jet troopers. Where are they even coming from? Must be a fortress somewhere for a frost. Here, maybe. Yeah, the 
kills them. Yeah, collects them and just sends them off on their way. They're sending more mech destroyers into their economy now. Trades here, killing off these anti airmobiles for risk, trying to stop him pushing down this area. Here might be better to just build a wall or something. Or here, Arnie might be better to build a wall here. Because I've got a bit of a force here, but it's not going to do too well against heavy artillery. Because of the shield generators, but again, heavy artillery, just huge damage here. And troopers as well can front line. The Mexi gang includes some assault mechs now as well. Cannon's going to be taking down this fortress for a risk. Can't quite get a great army together. It's still missing all that health on these troopers. It really sucks to see. They could be doing so much better for Fluffy. Again, hero economy, like, not looking great. Nothing to really deal with this. He's ran out of carbon now, and he's just not really had the tenacity to rebuild all his workers. It's falling apart for him here. This army is kind of all he's got, and it's getting caught out of position here, overextended a little bit. The a mobiles are not with the army, and these mounties are getting behind, and they're going to get all the important units that he can't really replace here. God, they had four holocrons. And it looks like they have just managed to clean this up. They might be able to turn this game on its head now. Because Hero's got really no eco. Lost his push, lost his eco, that's for sure. Just needs to rebuild. I just wasn't really very diligent in like, having units at home to defend these little pushes and these jet troopers and stuff. Just kind of slowly picked them apart. Rabbit was kind of just stalling on the pretense that, you know, Hero can like maybe take this trade down and they win the game. But! They've pushed that force out now. Guess him's got some units together and he's got a little bit of an eco. He's got all these trawlers, which are nice. Tidy economy for him. Tons of food. Munching all this carbon now that. To be honest, Arnie doesn't really need the carbon too much after getting the cargoes. They're just sort of food and Nova. It's kind of on Fluffy to do everything now, which is uh, not great considering he doesn't even have his uh, upgrade for his troopers. Risk still not quite got everything together. Arnie doing a good job making sure he doesn't come back here. The speeder is just so strong in this position when you don't have enough infrastructure to deal with them. Risk's almost moved all of his base over here now though. The Arnie and Kassem showing up here. They're not really a win condition anymore, I guess, for Hero, Rabbit and Risk. So the game could go out anyway, but I don't really have the tenacity to see it through. And Arnie's done a very good job to hold it together there for the team, fighting in three spots. And yeah, that's GG. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you like the content, please consider leaving a like on the video. Comment anything about the video. Uh, it helps the channel grow. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great as well. Um, if you want to join our GBG Discord, you'll find the link down below and you'll find the Expanding Fronts Discord, that's the mod for GBG that this game was played on. Uh, you find a link down to Vubly as well, where we play this game online. If you want to help the channel out in another way, in like a monetary way, you can maybe buy me a coffee, you can uh, find the PayPal link down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye bye.